Uh, Bronson, what have you played Cyberpunk or have you been following up no. on uh, any of the news for no, it? No, I got bored of it. Uh, I, I didn't buy it. The second everyone was like, oh, this thing kind of came in hot. Oh, it really <laughs> came in hot. All right, all right whatever. I'll, I'll... Just kind of dipped out. Yeah. Um, I, I guess I'll get... Actually, no, I guess I can do it now since I've been playing it more because we did a whole big uh, roundtable discussion on everyone's thoughts. But I have been playing it more and I'm actually I'm enjoying it significantly more than the Me beginning. <laughs> I think the game gets better. Yeah, uh, I, I think it's significantly better the longer you go as you get more abilities. There's nothing like super game changing, but I do appreciate the double jump. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, my God. Never the, has a double oh, jump in games felt more just like. <laughs> mm hmm. And, um, like, a lot of the really good side quests and storytelling parts are, like, severely back-ended. Mm-hmm. Um, like, you, you, can't oh, get, you can't get to them early on because they're, cause they're segmented off by, um, by just, just by levels. Like, you're not strong enough to do them. And there's still, like, a whole bunch of filler stuff I'm not a fan of in the later parts as well. Okay, but I will say, I finished River Ward's main quest line last night. Oh, my God. Like... Like I don't, I don't want to spoil anything because I don't know. Have you done it? I have not finished it quite. Okay. Yet. All, all I will say is, whenever this whole cyberpunk thing blows, not blows over. That's like the wrong, the wrong wording. But like, what when they when they get cyberpunk to where No Man's Sky is now, I want CD Projekt to do a horror game very badly. I'm not going to say anything else but that, but just. So I want them to do something horror really bad. I will say I know the next thing they're working on is Witcher 4, but uh, hopefully they can go out and experiment and do some stuff. I demand what's his name as <laughs> Ger- Geralt, damn it. The, the, I, not, not Army Hammer. Are you talking about the voice actor or Henry Cavill? Henry Cavill. <laughs> um, I demand a skin that lets me play as Henry Cavill <laughs> with Henry Cavill's but... voice. <laughs> Just to summarize my thoughts on it, like, yes, it gets better as you go on. There's some really good storytelling bits, a lot of good character building, but it's still kind of hidden behind a lot of Mm -hmm. filler stuff I'm not a gigantic fan of. I'm basically agreeing Um, with everything that you're saying. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, but I bring it up because, um, and there's even been some stuff that's happened Mm -hmm. uh, just over the last 24 hours. Uh, but it's but CG Project that of the p- developer behind uh, Cyberpunk 2077 released a video kind of going over its development, like some some of its woes. The co-founder, I'm gonna fuck this. Actually, no, this is probably an easier one, but I'm probably still gonna fuck it up. It's uh, Marcin, man. You can do it. I have faith in you. Marcin Iwinski uh, just know. growing concerns over the multitude of factors that's plagued Cyberpunk 2077. Such as, but not limited to, the overwhelming amount of bugs and glitches, the state of the last-gen versions, and the crunch culture that's consumed the studio. Uh, Winsky addressed the disparity between the PC and console versions by confirming that the studio for their base version of the game was high-end PCs. And so that makes um, I, what, what is current-gen um, and the last-gen, those were afterthoughts. So base game was was high end PCs and then they had to continually okay. downgrade from there in order to to get it on par, which is not the way most studios do it. They build up from the base machines and then upgrade from there with um graph graphical bells and whistles and whatnot. Um so that's probably the foundation of uh why there's a lot of issues going on there. Um but they've also gone on to say that they're vowing that the studio's new top priority is to avoid crunch culture on all future projects uh, and stating that future fi- future fixes for Cyberpunk 2077 will be made without uh, obligatory overtime. How, how much they'll stick to that promise, we'll have to see. Um, and it also ends it on that the next-gen update for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S consoles won't be available until the second half of 2021. So you're going to have to wait quite a bit there, Sarah. I mean, first of uh, all, I'm actually kind of de- depressed about that because I legitimately wanted to play it using like the PS5 upgrades and, and, and stuff thinking that they were coming out in like February. So now I'm just like kind of just sad because I'm like, I want to see this game looking really, really good, even though it does already look pretty, pretty great on PS PS5s. Um, you and I discussed this the other night baffles me that they chose to port the game to consoles the way that they did when they ported the witcher 3 
And for all intents and purposes, that game ran totally fine. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, it had issues with like Roach appearing on like (laughs) appearing on roofs and stuff, but like it ran totally fine. Like, I think what 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 it comes down to also, it's just the individual developers they knew that the game wasn't in shape and there's mm-hmm. an article by jason try that came out i believe this was it this morning or it was, last night it, something it, like it that. was like last night at like 11 30 like it was like late at night yeah and um like most of the developers were under the impression that this game was not going to be coming out until 2022 which is so fucking nuts i mean years. you play it you can kind of understand that <laughs> like there's like there's some shit that happens like i finally got the whole be thrown into like the fucking sky the other day and like it was just like like i wasn't even doing anything i was just driving and then my car fell through the floor and i went whoop i have not been experiencing as much as many glitches um on the pc version as of late it's like there's been like some cars falling from the sky but nothing too crazy which which is good and and it's Um, like it sucks because we also were discussing this too imagine being the like on the ground developers on this where like you were so proud that you guys were going to make like one of the biggest open open world games and just just biggest games ever and then you're told oh we have to release it in december and you're like this is not even close to being done like this mm-hmm. is going to be like and- the magnum opus of my of my work and it's going to be un unfinished i think um or one of the things that came out in the articles that's um production managers would go around saying like don't worry guys we can do this we're the team that made the fucking witcher, witcher 3. three no we're, like, we're, okay. we're, we're tough shit and just, yeah just t- bad culture going on in general over there um let's see did you, did you have anything you want to add bronson or is cyberpunk just dead to your soul uh no this is kind of comes down to people getting high on their own supply and executives not listening to the the people the boots on the ground essentially so now they're going to pay the piper and kind of have to keep going through this and patching it and whatnot and we'll see i'll play the game at some point but it'll be a while same with like witcher 3 it took a while for me to get to there yeah i I think that a lot of people are basically in that scenario just like it's not even fucking worth dealing with in this state i'll just play it when it's actually done Mm -hmm. and the executives should have had the same mindset 